Alright, welcome to this video about um, setting up the back-end or back-end preparation or automation for our webinar system that uh, uh, we are going to build. Okay, so uh, I'm going to share you this video uh, about... Uh, I'm going to share this video in bits and pieces, okay, po? Uh, by small uh, bits and pieces of videos, like three to five minutes per per. Uh, video probably um, so that we could focus on uh, specific tools like uh, in zoom like this so in this particular video we're going to discuss about zoom Ug, okay so ano po yung gagawin natin? so Tagalog na naman. so we are going to set up the webinar in zoom okay so again we are going to put this in bits and pieces para po mas uh, short yung video mas madali yung consume and we are focus on a specific tool so for example zoom active campaign and a specific uh, feature of a specific tool okay so let's go ahead and get into zoom and one of the things that you need to do uh, if you're working for a client is to make sure that you got the login information okay so ito po uh, nakashare na po yan sa amin and ang ginagamit po namin is LastPass. so LastPass is a a sharing or login credential sharing tool Basically, pwede nyo i-save yung mga login details nyo kung saan, kahit anong sites. Then, you could organize them by folder. So, for example, this one, I have clients. Uh, uh, we have different login from different clients. So, we could actually just switch to which client we wanted to log in. So, say, for example, this one is uh, one of our clients. So, we'll just have to sign in with that login. So, make sure uh, when you're working for a client, you will just ask, okay, um, in order for me to create a webinar or the Zoom webinar, I need to have access to your Zoom account. So, you have to get into their, uh, you have to get their login information. Okay, so setting my cell phone to do not disturb. Okay, there we go. So, the next we need to do, the next thing we need to do is to go to webinars. And here, we could create a schedule for the webinar. So, uh, another thing that you needed to do when you are setting up a webinar for a client is to have a title. So, if you create a schedule of webinar, you will notice that you need a topic. Ito po yung mga kailangan yung fields. You need a topic. What is the topic of the webinar or the title? And then, the description, a short description of the webinar, what this is all about. And then, yung date po. Kailangan yung po yung uh, hingin sa client. So, for example, Okay, um, this is the date, the time, uh, ito po yun. Uh, dito nyo po yan isa set. And of course, the time zone. Very important, you have to have the right time zone uh, for a specific client. So you need to know it's either PST or Pacific Standard Time, that is PST, or uh, EST, Eastern uh, Standard Time, like that. So you need to know that. Okay, so uh, marami pong mga checkboxes here and so on and so forth. But you should already got the information uh, from the client when you're setting up so once everything is uh, filled with everything here that's needed the schedule date the time uh, the duration of uh, uh, time uh, you could set it actually uh, around one hour or two hours depending uh, it depends upon you uh, one hour is minimal or uh, at least uh, the most appropriate then you don't check the required password then uh, video um, off off for all it depends on how you want to set this up. So everything here are basically a self-explanatory configuration. So once you're done, um, what you need to do is just to schedule it. So once you schedule that, um, it will be created. So I will just I will not create this. I will just show you the previous webinar that we already set. So for example, this one. So this is the previous webinar that we did and uh, that we created. And then, um, here's another thing. Um, if there is already an existing webinar, you can see here, a schedule a webinar with the same setting. So you could actually do this and it will be duplicated and everything uh, will be just, uh, you just have to make some changes on the title or anything like that, okay? So the time, the date, date, the time, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, and then here's one of the important thing that you needed to set up also that you need to have an email setting set up. So there should be, some um, confirmation email about the registrants then um, there should be follow-up emails you have to decide kung uh, gagamitin niyo po ito uh, with your client uh, so, uh, for this 
case, hindi po namin ginamit yan. Uh, mga reminder email, mga follow-up emails. So basically, ang ginamit po namin is yung active campaign which we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you in the other video later on. Okay, so yun po yung uh, mga gagawin within Zoom. So one of the things that you need to do in Zoom is that you need to familiarize paano mag-create ng webinar and also na, uh, meron din po tayong meetings. So for meetings, is um, uh, it's like a live uh, training without necessary registration. Uh, yun po yung mga meetings. Bibigyan nyo lang yung link, yun po yung meetings. For the webinars, they need to sign up, they need to register uh, with their name and email. Okay? So now that we already set this uh, webinar, uh, we already set this webinar, so the next thing that we actually need to do is to uh, schedule this. So we need to schedule, uh, I mean, we need to schedule. The next thing we need to do is to basically integrate this. So we, ha we have to integrate this to the um, active campaign so we have to integrate that to active campaign and also um, to Kajabi so that's I guess for this video because it's basically focused on zoom so again continue to expand your knowledge about zoom try to understand what it is what are the things that you needed uh, when you are uh, what are this and uh, sometimes you need to know about the tools so that you could suggest it to clients. For example, okay, I wanted to do this. As for example, magsasabi yung uh, mga customers that or clients natin na ano bang gagawin na uh, uh, gagawin nakin? <laughs> ano bang uh, what, what should I do? Okay, so what should I do? Um, uh, if I'm going to set up, a, uh, so for example, your client probably just new. Um, with the knowledge about Zoom or what the knowledge of specific tools makakatulong ka pa to suggest them that you should use this you should use that it will help your it will help you create a online seminar like that um, without a problem very, very intuitive very um, um, advanced so basically zoom is like a online seminar so you don't necessarily have to get into offline to create a uh, to create an event an offline event to uh, create a seminar you could actually just do it online with Zoom. Okay, so that that is my friend about Zoom. And hopefully, uh, expand your knowledge, get into Zoom. Uh, you will be able to get into Zoom that asks or US and get into their some of the solutions like that. You could read all of the uh, information here, probably in their documentation, whatever necessary that you needed to do, like integrations or whatever that would expand your knowledge about this particular tool. So I think that's all there is to it. Maraming salamat po! Hello and welcome to Pinoy Online Channel. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon, bell, bell icon, and click all so that you will get notification po sa lahat ng mga bagong videos that we will be uploaded. Thank you!